Welcome to Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. I'm Dr. Sam Parsons. I'm the Outreach Minister here at Christ the King Church. I want to welcome you to our School of the Bible. Today we're going to be studying about God is your strength. Let's take a moment, let's pray, then we'll get into the Word. Father, thank you for our time together. And Lord, as always, we want to thank you for your Word. It's where we do get our strength. It's where we get our instruction, and it's where we come to know you in a better way. Lord, open our spiritual eyes and ears that we'll be able to receive all that you have for us. I pray, Lord, you'll help me to be able to speak clearly, to convey the message that you've given me today for the people who will be seeing this and hearing it. Lord, let me to clearly spell out what you'd have for us and let us receive it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. That'll be our starting off point. And then we'll talk from there. Ephesians 6 chapter 10 says this. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. That's something that's difficult. See, a lot of times I'll teach our men's Sunday school class I'll be involved a lot with the men. And you know, it's one of the most difficult things for us to realize. <clears throat> most men are taught that we have to be strong. Big boys don't cry. All those things that try to tell us we have to be tough. When you become a Christian, one of the hardest things for men to do is become a Christian, for one thing, because we don't want to have to admit that we have need of anything or anybody else. And that includes God in our lives. So it's difficult to do. But once we become a Christian, it's hard then sometimes to realize and recognize that we still need strength that comes from outside of ourselves. He's saying here in this verse that we're to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. It's not a strength that we work up from inside of us. We're not always going to be able to be as strong in our own means as we're going to need to be. And we need to realize that there's things that are going to come up in our lives, things that we have to deal with, that are going to require strength that are way beyond our ability to be strong. God is the source of our true strength. When we come to realize that, then we become, begin to lean on Him. We begin to realize that when we need strength, that's where we need to go. We need to turn our attention to Him. We need to draw near unto Him because that's where our ultimate strength will come from. There's another verse that's close by. I want you to look at it. In Philippians, we've heard this a lot, 4.13. It says this, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. The ability for us to do all the things we need to do only comes through the strengthening that we get from God. Too many times we try to do things in our own strength. And as I mentioned earlier, I see this really happen a lot with men. We think it's a show of weakness if we have to ask anyone for help. And that even goes so far as asking God for help. But that's exactly what he wants us to do. God wants us to realize that we cannot succeed and not be who he wants us to be without recognizing that we can't do it without him. Now this verse tells us 
with his strength, we can do all things. But it's got to be through Christ and the strength that he provides for us. He has got to be the source of all of our strength. We too often try to walk in our own strength and think we can do it ourselves. That's where we end up in a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of hurt and a whole lot of failure. Some of the people that I run into the most who have biggest issues with failure, you find out, did you pray about that? No. Did you seek God's direction for that particular situation? No. Did you even consider seeking what God would have you to do? And a lot of times they didn't. Well, I felt like I needed to take care of this on my own. We have to realize when we become Christians... We become in partnership with God. And He has to be a part of everything that we do. Every decision we make needs to be in cons a consultation with Him, with the Holy Spirit. It's through that wisdom that He provides, through the strength and through the direction that he gives us, that we become successful. That we are able to withstand all the problems that the enemy will try to bring upon us. When we're tried and tempted, we need strength to be able to stand. That's when you really need to go and take those things to God. You've got to realize, recognize the areas where you're weak and keep those things in front of you, praying over those things so that God can give you strength to overcome them. The devil knows where you're weak. He's going to attack you in your weak areas. He's sure not going to come against you in areas where he knows you're strong. So it's important for us to keep prayed up but to go to God for our strength so that we won't be tempted in some areas. And if we are tempted in those areas, that we're going to have the strength not to fall in those areas. See, God wants to strengthen us where no matter what the enemy tries to throw against us. We're not going to fall. We're not going to have to be concerned about it. We're going to know that because God is my source of strength, I can handle anything that the devil tries to throw against me. But it's only through the strength that God supplies for me. People will use, even use things like they say, well, pray for me that, I, that God will help me quit smoking. I know that if I just put my mind to it, no, that's not going to help. You have to realize that you have to pray and ask God to deliver you, to give you the strength to overcome some of the bad habits that you may have. We've tried, all of us have probably tried, to overcome some bad habit, some issue that we've had in our lives. And we've seen how much we failed. But when God empowers us with a strength that's not our own, then and only then will we be able to overcome these areas that continually seem to have power over us, that seem to control us, to seem to cause us these great issues. We can't work up this strength. It's given to us supernaturally. And that's what we have to understand. It's not something we can work up within us. We can help 
encourage ourselves. We can help build ourselves up. But when it actually comes to having the strength <clears throat> to go through things, that strength has to come from somewhere outside of ourselves. Some of us have experienced the loss of loved ones. And that's one of the hardest things we ever have to deal with. And without the strength that God provides us that's outside of ourselves, it's a supernatural strengthening and empowerment, we'd be hard-pressed to be able to handle those types of situations. That's what we're talking about, a supernatural empowerment and strengthening from God that gives us the ability to go through whatever we have to face. If you would turn over with me now to Psalms, we're going to be looking at several things here in Psalms. Psalms has a lot to say about the strength of God, what He does for us as far as providing strength. Psalm 46 Verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I like the next two verses. It says this, Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, it says we'll still not be afraid. Why? Because God is our refuge and our strength. I've seen so many people, when trouble comes, they want to run away from God rather than running to God. When we learn that He is our place of refuge, He is our place of strength, when things come against us, that's where we need to go, is to Him. Things will change. Things will improve. Things will turn around for the better. But that's the only place where we're going to get the strength to be able to do and go through the things that we're going to have to face in this life. I like in, in Psalm 46, verse 10, God says, Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the heathen. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. When you know that God is with you, then whatever you're going through, whatever you face, you're going to have confidence that because He's with you, you're going to be able to make it, and He's going to give you the strength you need to make it through anything that you face. Let's turn over to Psalm 18. Psalm 18. We're going to look at verses 1 and 2 to start with. Psalm 18, verses 1, starting with verse 1, it says this. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress I call upon the Lord, and cried unto my God, 
and he heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. You see, when we know where to go, as David here, who wrote this psalm, was talking about knowing where to go when things get rough. He knew to go to God. And he knew that when things got bad, he could go to God and God would hear his cry. That God would rise up and come to his rescue. And it's up to us to learn that that's where we have to go. And I know I'm being repetitive, but it's something you need to hear. Too often we try to face these things in our own strength and we're, it's not going to work. Some people want to blame God when things come upon them. You have to remember, we're in a world where we still talk about there's a God of this world. We're not talking about our Heavenly Father. We're talking about our enemy. He's not been, the God of this world has not been totally put down yet. And he loves to bring things upon us. He hates God. And because we're God's children, he hates us. So he tries to bring problems, issues, all kinds of things against us. And if we allow him to, the word says that he wants to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And that's what he'll do unless we know where to go for help. And that's run to God. David knew that. And he called God his, not only his strength, but he says he's my rock. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. He's my strength. He's my buckler. He's the horn of my salvation. He's my high tower. In other words, he provides every bit of protection that we need when anything is coming against us. And he gives us the strength to be able to stand in the times of trials and tribulations and issues because we know we can trust him and we know where we can go when problems come. In verse 32 of Psalm 18, it says this, It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath holden me up and thy gentleness hath made me great. Verse 43, he says, Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people and thou hast made me the head of the heathen a people who I, who I, whom I have not known shall serve me. Verse 46, The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me, and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies, Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. You see, throughout all Psalm 18, David is giving thanks and giving recognition to the fact that he knows where his help comes from. 
And that's what we have to come to grips with as well. We're never going to be able to handle everything that life throws at us by ourselves. We don't have to because God is our strength. And he reminds us that over and over and over again. Let's look at Psalm 19. The very last verse, verse 14 of Psalm 19 says this. <clears throat> but the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Again, we see over and over again in the Psalms where David reminds himself, reminds others around him who the source of strength is. The source of strength is God. In Psalm 21, Verse 1, the king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation, how greatly shall he rejoice. See again, we see over and over again, he keeps pointing out strength is not from within us. Strength is not from our physical abilities. Strength is not what we conjure up. But true strength comes from God, and it comes from our relationship with Him. It comes from allowing ourselves to be used of Him. It comes from us developing that relationship and knowing whenever there's a need, whenever we have a, a feel a weakness, whenever we're needing strength, regardless of what it is, that we go to the right place. And that right place, the place to go, is straight to God. God is our strength. God is your strength. And he wants to show you that he's there for you at all times. I'm going to show one more area here before we close. <clears throat> Let me get there quickly. Psalm 121, beginning with verse 1. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. God is there to take care of us in every way. He provides our help. He provides our strength. I like that it says, he never sleeps, he never slumbers. He's with us and available for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We all have to have a little time to rest. We take days off, we take vacations, and obviously we sleep in the evenings but that's such an amazing thing about God. 
He never sleeps or slumbers. It doesn't matter if we need him during the day, during the night. He doesn't take vacations. Whenever we need him, he's right there. Whatever your need is, whenever you need strengthening, you can trust and you can be assured of the fact that God is your strength. You need deliverance from an issue. You need help with a relationship. You need direction to make a decision. See, all these things require a special strength, whether it be physical strength, emotional strength, wisdom, which you could almost call that mental strength of knowing which direction to go, what decision to make, which is the right way, what path we should go. God is your source of strength. He wants to see you succeed more than you want to see you succeed. Go to Him. Seek Him. Look to Him as your source of strength. Don't look to yourself. Don't look to other people. Other people will just let you down. God will never let you down. He is your very source of strength. And when you recognize that, you'll find that in everything that you do, when you seek Him and recognize Him as a source of your strength, the only thing you can do is succeed, and you will not fail. I pray this has been a blessing to you, and may God bless you until we gather together again. Amen. Thank you for watching Christ the King Church, Shelby, North Carolina's Healing Center. Visit our website, www.christthekingshelby.org and check us out on Facebook and YouTube. Join us on Spectrum Cable Channel 9 on Tuesday at 7 p.m.